Hi, in this video tutorial, I'll show you how to connect Epson printer L365 to Wi-Fi network. You can tell that the printer is connected or not by looking at the light above the Wi-Fi logo. If it is off, that means there is no connection. I'll use my laptop to configure the printer to connect to the Wi-Fi network. And the reason why I'm using my laptop to connect the printer to the Wi-Fi network because this device has no button for WPS connection. So, let's put this aside for now and bring the software disk for the printer and play it. Also make sure that you unplug the USB cable for the printer. You don't need it at the moment. Right click on the DVD drive. Select install. Agree to the license agreement and click next. If this is the first time you run this setup, make sure to check both of these options. Since I'm already having installed the software, I'll uncheck them. Click Next. Don't forget to have an internet access in order to complete the installation. In this window, you'll have three options. The first one, to reinstall the software. The second, to install an additional application, the third to change connection method, and that's what I'm looking for. Select it and click Next. Select the Wi Fi connection, click Next. Click on Automatic Setup with USB cable. And now, you have to plug the USB cable for the printer. The software will detect the printer. You will have your printer detected. Select it. In case of your printer not showing here, try to unplug the USB cable and plug it again. Click Next. A pop-up window will ask you if you want to join your printer to the same network as you are currently connected to. If you don't want your printer to connect to the same network, click No. If you want so, click Yes. Anyway, I'll show you what will happen if you click No. Another window will appear, trying to search for other nearby Wi-Fi networks. This is the result of scanning. You can select whatever network you want to join with, but make sure you connect to the same network as your laptop or computer currently connected to, in order to access the printer. Click Next. Enter the password for the Wi-Fi network. Click Next. I'll show you what is happening on the printer side. As you can see, the light above the Wi-Fi logo changing from orange to green. That's mean the printer talking to the Wi-Fi network and trying to get an IP address from the DSCP server. When you see it settle at the green color, that's mean connection established. Another window asking you if you want to change your IP address manually. By default, you get it automatically, and that's great. So go ahead and click Next. That's it. The printer has connected successfully.
you got an IP address and this is the MAC address for the printer. At this step, you no longer need the USB cable plugged, so unplug it. Now, my printer and the laptop connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Click Next. You are free to print a test page, but I'll print my own special test page. So go ahead. Click Finish. I have this picture I've already created to use it as a test page. Let's try to print it. Click on the print button. As you can see the printer over the network. Adjust the printing properties. Click print. That's all for this tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow and helpful. Thanks for watching.